Their names. Three words we hear often from protesters and we see on social media when a black person is killed unjustly. And we hear it and see it so often because there are so many names to say. Major police, stop! Stop! Get off the thing! This is body camera video from Las Vegas Metro Police from September 2019. You can hear officers tell a man on a bicycle to stop. They put their police sirens on, get out the car, and chase him on foot. When they catch him, you hear this. Oh, put your hands by your back. Okay. And then three words you've heard before. I can't breathe. Yeah, because you're tired of running. I can't breathe. Three words Eric Gardner said to police in New York City after an officer put him in a chokehold in 2014. George Floyd said the same three words in Minneapolis. An officer kneeled on his neck for nearly eight minutes. Gardner and Floyd both died, and so did Byron Williams. All three of them were black men. According to MappingPoliceViolence.org, Vegas is one of eight of the 100 largest city police departments that kill black men at higher rates than the U.S. murder rate. Okay, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Williams said, I can't breathe, 17 times. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He died in police custody. Police officers were trying to stop him because the bicycle he was riding didn't have safety lights. Now, medical was called to the scene, but by the time they saw Byron Williams, he was already unresponsive. The coroner's office there ruled his death a homicide. No charges have been filed against the police officers involved, but the Las Vegas police have made changes to their use of force policy. So those changes include officers. They cannot restrain a suspect in a way that limits their ability to breathe. If suspects say they can't breathe, they must be placed in a recovering position, like sitting them upright. And officers must call for medical assistance immediately.